Hi, I'm Cara from Wild Camden Sleeps and welcome to my YouTube channel, Refashion Series. Today we'll be turning the sweater into a baseball tee. So here's what I started with. It's a sweater I inherited from my grandma when she passed away and it's kind of a velvet material. So to start we need to create a pattern and I used a baseball tee I already had on hand. And what I did is I folded down the center front to create a pattern that I could easily cut out. And I'm tracing it onto seamless paper that I use as the backdrop of a lot of my photos. So once it gets dirty, I just cut it off and use it as my pattern paper. And as you can tell, I'm trying to be really precise with exactly where the fabric ends in the different pattern pieces so that when I cut it out, it'll match up well. And I'm marking where the folds are as well. So I do both front and back pieces like that. And then for the sleeve, it's a little tricky because it's one piece. So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna flip it over that outside line as soon as you get all the marks down from the collar and the seam on the front. So here's that flip I was talking about. You flip it just right over that line and then I actually ran out of space so I just fixed it by taping a piece of paper onto the side. And then I just repeated the same step of outlining where it ends. Now you'll notice I don't have any seam allowance yet. I'm gonna add that in in just a little bit. And I only had to do one sleeve piece because they're the same and one collar piece as well, but I did separate pieces for the front and the back since the measurements were different. And remember your collar is folded in half, so make sure that you make it twice as wide. And mark where the fold is again. Okay, now here I am, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add a 5 8 inch seam allowance all along the edges where I'm gonna have seams. And this is kind of a lengthy process, but it's worth it to get everything right the first time so that it's easy to sew together. Of course, if you want to just buy a baseball tee pattern, you could do that too. Once all your pieces are done and you can see my seam allowances have been added, you're gonna go ahead and cut it out. And this is the final result. You have the front piece, the back piece, a sleeve piece, and a collar piece. So let's start breaking down the sweater so we can cut the pieces. So I'm just cutting off the side seams because I know I have just enough fabric that I don't need to be crazy about using a seam ripper instead of just cutting. And I did that on both sides. And then I'm gonna cut out my pattern pieces now. So since we're doing a baseball tee, I just need the front piece and the back piece out of this velvet. Now I didn't have quite as much room as I thought I did, so I have to alter my pattern a little bit to fit with what I have to work with. So you'll see that I kind of folded in this side on the bottom down there. And then I also can't do the curved hem, so I'm just gonna keep the original hem. And then your collar and your sleeves you're gonna need to do out of another type of fabric, and I'm just using some white knit fabric that I already had at home. And I like to use rocks from the dollar store as my weights, so that's what that fanciness is. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is sew the sleeves to the front and back pieces just at the top. So I'm showing you how I would pin that together before I would sew it you're kind of creating like a giant plus sign initially. And obviously you wanna pin this before you sew it. I'm just showing you how the pieces fit together. Now the side seams. Once you've done those top parts, you just flop it in half like this, match up the sides and the sleeves, and sew one continuous seam from the bottom to the end of the sleeve. The collar is a little bit tricky. I recommend looking up some tutorials online. So I've already cut it out and I've sewn it together. And then you're going to enclose that seam by folding it in half and then press it with an iron. And then you're going to pin it on. And I totally forgot to keep filming, so I apologize that there's not more. So here's the final results of the before and after. I really like that it's something I inherited from my grandma, but that I was able to update and can wear and think of her every time. Also, I did dye my hair between the before and after, so that's why it looks a little bit more different than it did before. I also like the loose fit because I feel like it's super comfortable and the velvet makes it extra soft. Again, here's the before and after. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and leave any questions or comments below.